Hello Internet, Big Dave here, and I'd like to welcome you to the first weekly roundup for Big Dave is Cheap. This will function as a video blog of sorts, where we will look back at the week that is just completed and look ahead to the week that is to come, and we will also save some time for some self-analysis on our videos. How were they? How were the games? Recap the reviews, and uh, maybe also do some other general rambling. So to start things off, the game in the background is post-apocalyptic mayhem, and after my video this week I decided to take a look into the DLC, the free DLC, and discovered that not only was it a new arena, a new track, Death Area 8, it was also three new cars. Very, very interesting. So take a look at those new cars as we continue through the video. Footage will roll for your enjoyment. Now, this was the inaugural week, the launch week of Big Dave is Cheap, and I have to say, I think it went pretty well. I mean, yeah, I'm not racking up the views or anything, but the launch itself went very smoothly. Got all the videos uploaded, got them released on time. Everything went very, very nicely. Okay, let's recap the games that we looked at this week. First of all, we started out with Monday Night Combat. Monday Night Combat, the third-person, team-based futuristic sci-fi tower defense style game. I enjoyed that game a lot. I rated it five bucks out of five, meaning that I would pay full price for that game, believe it or not, as cheap as I am. Overall, I thought the video itself was a pretty good representation of gameplay. I would like to make a follow-up co-op video, and I do sort of have a tentative plan in place for that. Next, we tried the game that you are watching on screen right now, Post-Apocalyptic Mayhem. I thought that game was really good. I thought the video was very uh, informative, or so I hope it was. I hope it showed you the fun factor of the game, because I think that was the one video I made where I was truly having a really, really good time while playing and recording. And I will say, now that I've seen the DLC for this game, it is even more attractive than it was, and I am willing to up my 4 out of 5 buck rating to a 5 out of 5 buck rating. I feel that at full price, $10, this game is more than worth it. It now has somewhere in the range of 10 cars and 4 tracks. Pretty, pretty good. I do want to try a multiplayer video, though I have heard that the multiplayer online scene is a little bit dead. So we'll have to take a look at that and maybe adjust our rating accordingly. After that, we took a look at Toki Tori, the puzzle platform game where I thoroughly embarrassed myself, at first patting myself on the back for brilliantly coming up with a solution to the level, only to realize that, in fact, I had not. Yes, indeed. Putting aside the personal embarrassment that I suffered during that video, I feel like all in all it was a pretty decent video. I did rate Toki Tori 4 bucks out of 5, meaning that I definitely feel like I got my money's worth at the price I paid, but the game only retails for $5 on any given day, so it's kind of worth it anyway. If you can find it on sale, even better. And now we come to the two videos where I felt like I could have done a little bit better. The first one was Global Agenda Free Agent. Global Agenda Free Agent, the free-to-play third-person sci-fi MMO. Um, it was a really difficult and frustrating to re review to create. I had to reshoot several parts to get under that 15-minute time limit. I tried to cram so much information in, I think I put too much information in. I did rate Global Agenda 4 bucks out of 5. It is definitely worth a look. I would, however, like to create another video showing some maybe higher level content or some of the other things the game has to offer so that you can get a better idea of exactly how the game plays. It was mostly information and not a lot of actual playing. So uh, I kind of fell down on that aspect of my, uh, my goal there for these videos, just to show you how they play and how they feel when they play. And instead I talked a lot about the subscription structure and uh, things like that. So yeah, we'll try to improve on that in the next video for Global Agenda Free Agent. And finally, we had the video that I felt on a second watching was really lacking. That was the Dwarfs video. That game is so unique. The playstyle is so unique. It's, it's almost a sort of a Lemmings kind of playstyle where really in the end you're just trying to keep all of these little guys from hurting themselves and wiping out your camp. I mean, it's a management uh, style game in a lot of ways and it, it's just so hard to convey that. And I thought the tutorial was the way to do that, but in retrospect, maybe not. 
So we will make another Dwarfs video to try to show you some of the other gameplay modes because there are so many. And, and now that that initial explanation of the, uh, of the actual systems of the game, of how the game works, now that all that's out of the way, we can actually get into possibly and hopefully a better video that will convey what the game is. Because it's a fantastic game and I think that you really should try it out. I did rate Dwarfs 4 bucks out of 5 because it, well, it's fun. And it has a lot of, a lot of playing options. All right, guys, we've just passed the five minute mark here. And what I will tell you is that in the future, I hope to keep this video right around five minutes, this weekend roundup video blog sort of video. Uh, but right now, this week, we had five videos and we had the launch of the channel. So that's a lot to talk about in five minutes. So we didn't make that limit. Uh, let's talk about actually the channel a little bit more. Let's talk about what we're going to be doing. My goal is to release three videos a week. One in the early part of the week, one in the middle part of the week, and one towards the later part of the week, along with this video to recap. So I want this video to go up on Friday or Saturday, meaning that our week basically ends on Friday or Saturday. So Monday, uh, so so Sunday through Thursday is sort of our week for releases. So we'll wrap things up with one final piece of information. There is a free-to-play weekend going on for a game called Altitude by Nimbly Games. It looks like a sort of a 2D side-view airplane game. Uh, it seems to stress multiplayer. It looks really interesting. I'm going to be trying it out. I would encourage you to do the same. It's available on Steam. I will do a video and try to get that up before the free-to-play window ends on Sunday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. I am Big Dave. You know that I'm cheap, so be here next week with me as I take a look at the best games I can find for under $5. Until then, take it easy.